Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well, keeping safe and looking after yourself. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, by the way. For those that don't know, my name is Georgia. I live in Brisbane, Queensland, and I make lifestyle vlogs. I have a podcast and a business called The Intuition Co. And I'm just really grateful to have you here today. I thought I would pick up the camera. It's actually midday. I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I now feel like talking to myself so here we are I just went to the shops this morning and I had to run a few errands I also went into Zara and H&M and I knew it was going to be dangerous also look at my hand a fake tan hand oh regrets major regrets it's actually Friday today the girls and I are going out tonight I'm excited to spend some time with my friends because yeah I feel like it's been a while since the three of us like did something together everyone's just so busy this time of year I'll give you a quick little haul first of all from H&M this was an absolute mission and I am scared to hold it because I don't want to ruin it again Ty came out of the back but I got this cute little yellow set this is my favorite color right now i'm so obsessed with yellow these little pajamas how cute i'm so excited to try them on i went to zara and oh, i've seen so many people talking about their perfumes i smelt this one and it smells really good i forget which one is the like viral one i got the golden decade look at the bottle this was 45 dollars i think yep 45.95 look at that and it smells oh smells like a sexy night out if you know what I mean it does it's giving sexy I love it so very excited to use that apparently the Zara perfumes are really good I've never had one before then I got this really cute bodysuit look she is stunning I have like a nude strapless bra on and I tried this on in the store wearing that and it looked all right so hopefully that's okay to wear underneath you obviously can't free ball it but um it looks really cute i also got this top such a basic but i don't even own a stripy top but i tried it on looks nice looks good with denim and the last thing i got was this top which looked stunning on i might even wear this tonight i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear yet but you can like wear it like that so it like sits like that or wear it up on your shoulders um i don't really know which one i prefer Fur, but very very cute and looks really good with a tan i have not fake tanned in a long time but a fresh tan just makes you feel so good i also got a new helix piercing mine is super old you can barely see it i've had a lot of trouble with my piercings but anyway i got this one from jazz handmade i don't know how i can show you that any better but it's just like a little hoop so i'm gonna put that in as well but yeah i'm gonna make some lunch and then i've got some random admin things to do before i get ready to go and see the girls i'm very dehydrated so i need to drink some water because we cannot go out dehydrated that is the worst i'm trying to find something to wear out tonight i have no idea where we're going so that makes it very hard to dress for because i don't know if we're going like dress vibe pants vibe casual vibe so i'm trying to cater for all of them i put together this outfit and i do like it i don't know it could be really dressy depending on where we're going. I've only worn this shirt once, but it's nice and bright. I also just made myself a little muggy in my new cups. How cute are these? They're from Kmart. Stop it. And this hits the spot. It was frozen. That's kind of just a muggy, but delicious. I do vibe with this, but it's quite nice. So, all right, we could be on here. So this is a very casual top, but like paired with the dress pants, like, makes it look a little bit nicer and then i thought we could color block with these orange sandals i freaking love these shoes they're from ra that could be fun because it's like warm i kind of think it looks funky i feel a little bit lost but this could be this could be a vibe let me check in the group chat but i feel like it's on brand with my margi kind of matches <laughs>
Hello guys, happy Sunday. It has been a really nice reset morning, getting everything sorted. I'm just about to head off to Sez and Ricky's because I am shooting the last like content shoot for the Intuition Co before we launch. I'm doing a behind the scenes video of all of that. So that will be in a separate video, but just thought I would check in. I've had a really wholesome Sunday. Just getting everything sorted. Last night I went and saw Meg, had a wine. It was so good to see her. I've had so much good energy around me this weekend, which has been so nice. But yeah, now I'm gearing up for a really busy week. So <laughs> it's go time. It really is. Very excited for the week ahead. <laughs> lighting up in here hello i am in my pjs and i'm just doing some last minute computer work before i properly wind down i just had dinner i've made myself a peppermint tea and i thought i'd check in i feel like i've been a bit airy fairy since last week to be honest when i finished like my last assignment after that it was just wild I feel like I've been vlogging in between then, but Thursday I spent the day at the beach and saw my friend that was here from New Zealand, so that was nice. Friday I had a whole bunch of errands to run and then I had girls night, as you saw, which was so good. Saturday I felt like I was just like cleaning up loose ends from Friday and then caught up with Meg, which was also really lovely. And then today I was like, oh, like... I have so much to do but like let's just treat it like a normal Sunday so I had a really nice reset this morning and then did the shoot with Sez and Ricky I'm so grateful that they let me film um and just like take photos of them for the website and everything that's very exciting hang on when's this video going up my website might have launched by the time this has gone up <gasps> I just realized if it is um, you can get your hands on everything now. It'll be in the description. I believe this video will be out when it's live. So yeah, who knows what uh, next week is gonna look like. All of the photos turned out really well and all of the content just went so seamlessly and I'm, I'm really grateful for the support of my friends and my family. I don't know, I'm just I'm very lucky. Um, but we have a big week ahead prepping for launch and there's a whole bunch of like random bits and pieces I need to um sort out before we launch so yeah that's kind of the week ahead it's gonna be a big week but i'm just so excited and i i think i feel a little bit overwhelmed which is why i wanted to come on here and debrief because i just posted a whole bunch of content i needed to get out today and like sharing all of the news with you guys um i also just shared the reel of me finishing uni which was obviously a couple of days ago but Life has just been busy. I just left it for a while, but I finally shared it. And then I had some stuff to post on the Intuition Co. And I have a whole bunch of content I need to prep and sort out, but I think that's a tomorrow me job. So much is happening. And I just think I keep catching myself in these little moments, having like just immense gratitude for like what's happening right now. And I was talking to the girls about this this weekend. A year ago, everything in my life kind of flipped upside down and I just like, you know, everything came to a head and I think it had been brewing for a little while. I was struggling all of 2022 with depression and it was a really scary, dark time and a really dark place in my head. Waking up every day and being in that headspace was just the scariest thing that I've ever experienced and it's interesting because I was so silent about it like I barely told a soul and it's really fueled all the stuff that I'm wanting to do with the Intuition Co even the podcast like that is where it comes from that deep place of hurt and um sadness and struggling with my own mental health to then like doing a complete 180 in the last year and I honestly feel like I've lived 40 different lives since this time last year it also just like makes you reflect on everything that's happened in that time frame and I I even remember this time last year I was thinking like I don't know how I'm gonna get through this like I don't know what I'm gonna do I felt so lost and confused and to like completely turn that around and have so much drive and passion and purpose it's like i'm just so so grateful 
so so grateful and I've done all of that work on myself like I was listening to your podcast today and it was like you got yourself to your future self if that makes sense and that's how you are going to get yourself to the next version of yourself you've created that you've done the work on that I think that's really special too to reflect on if you go back and see my videos this time last year like totally different girl I don't know who that is I am going to finish up my computer work I actually need to book some accommodation I don't even think I told you guys this but I booked a little impromptu trip to New Zealand I love New Zealand right New Zealand is so beautiful I wish I could spend so much more time there this will be the second new zealand trip in the same year which is crazy i went to queenstown in july but i'm going to the north island this time i'm so excited it'll be so fun she's really just in her impromptu do it for the plot era like that is that is the season that i'm in but yeah i'm gonna book my accommodation tonight watch some tv read on my kindle and have a really early night because i'm gonna need the rest for this week i will see you tomorrow Good morning guys, it is Monday, start of a very busy week. I got up at 5am this morning, I got sorted for the week, I did my to-do list, I did some of the website work, a few bits and pieces to like edit, I still have some more content to edit and some things that I needed to post this morning and then I went to the gym nice and early. I am loving my 5am routine, like ever since I've gotten back into it, I feel so much better so that's really good but one thing I wasn't happy with was my training just like the scheduling of everything I've been doing more running sessions like interval running but my weight sessions I just struggle like timing wise because I really struggle to eat in the morning and when I'm doing a heavy weight session especially a push session I want to have food in my system but like when I leave at 6 30 in the morning my body just like feels sick at the thought of eating but anyway I went this morning and I did a pool session which was good that was probably the first gym session I've properly enjoyed in a little while which was nice and I think it's probably the stress factor like normally when I go to the gym I'm like oh I have so many assignments to do I'm so stressed whereas now I'm like I've got stuff to do but I've got it <laughs> it's one less thing I have to worry about but yeah I think I'm gonna go for a walk now I'm going to put a podcast in go for my walk before it gets too hot it's supposed to be really hot today and then come home have breakfast journal get stuck into work for the day that's the plan good morning it is tuesday today we have a bit of a big day planned i've just gotten myself ready i'm filming a little day in the life reel for my instagram today so I'm splitting my resources but today is ebook day that's the focus is to finish off the ebook it's basically just consolidating there are a few pages i still need to finish writing um but i'm really excited to get that done and try and get a lot of the ebook finalizing stuff sorted um so that's kind of the plan for today i went for a run this morning which was really good and i'm just about to head out i have a package to drop off i'm going to quickly run to costco as well run a few errands and then come home and finish off the ebook and then i have an naturopath appointment at the end of the day to get some acupuncture which is going to be so good because i can feel myself not getting stressed it's just like everything's heightened because i'm like let's go that's kind of the plan for today but yeah i'm loving finishing off the ebook the ebook is so fun and i'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on it adjust this angle but good morning it's wednesday i feel like i haven't been very good at vlogging um the past couple of days my reel that i was filming yesterday did not work out so please ignore i got so distracted and just just wasn't it <laughs> I'm having some brekkie, I'm having my coffee, it is 9am, I'm only just having coffee now, but I thought that I would update you, do a bit of health update to end off this vlog, because I've been going to a naturopath for quite some time, I think the middle of last year I started, um, and then towards the end of the year everything just kind of like picked up and we really did like an overhaul of my body because I was just not feeling great I'm doing so much better than I was and I'm so so grateful that like I have the health people in my corner that I have because I really don't think that like I would be feeling as good if I didn't have them but I know that I have a very stressed body and I know that I'm normally a very stressed person and that's kind of like been my focus for the year is to try and work on my stress response and calming my nervous system down 
And I think sometimes I forget that my nervous system is really susceptible, I guess. So like little changes in my lifestyle or yeah, just things that like, I guess for other people, it normally wouldn't affect them too much. My body is like very sensitive. I used to find I was hypersensitive, which I don't really feel like is me anymore. Elements of that definitely stick around, but it's not like as, I don't know, as big as it was. Lately, I think just with how much has been happening, and I think sometimes I don't give myself credit. Like I say like, oh, there's a lot happening, but I like don't mentally like compute that, if that makes sense. Like I went to my psychologist last week and she's like, I'm like telling her everything that's been happening and she's like that is a lot for one person to hold on to and like that's a lot for to like to be in someone's headspace at one time and I was like yeah you know what it is and the same thing happened yesterday I was like telling my naturopath like all the stuff that's happening and she was like I was even telling her about my work day I was like oh like I'm, I've gotten back into my early morning wake ups which is awesome working so well for me I love my 5am wake ups but she was saying like what time do you start working? And I was like, oh, like five o'clock. Like I wake up and I start work. She's like, what time do you finish? I was like five, six, sometimes seven. <laughs> and she was like, you can't do that. You're going to run yourself into the ground. And also that is why your nervous system is the way that it is right now. Because I just felt like all this tightness in my chest and like, I don't actually feel bad. But like my body is like like just holding on to everything um and like i was really shallow breathing yesterday and she was like you need to like come back to basics spend some more time with yourself doing some self-care and switch off earlier in the evening like if you're gonna get up and start that early you need to start switching off later because that is a massive work day and it's funny our podcast episode for this week was about hustle culture and I find that I am so susceptible to hustle culture because I see what people are doing online and I see everyone else like grinding and like doing so much stuff I just feel like I'm not doing enough and even when you're having those big days I know that I'm working all day and like that's massive in my head it's like well there's more to do like you've just got to keep going and I just keep going until it's like ridiculous do you know what I mean like I don't really have boundaries I guess for myself is what that's saying so um yesterday I had a really big headache I was so sleepy when I got home because my point was at four so I got home at like 5 30 and I was like yeah <laughs> that's me done for the day I was gonna come home and keep working but I just couldn't do it I'm trying to implement a better nighttime routine and we've changed up a few things so obviously like my supplement stuff has changed a bit but at night winding down earlier like 5 5 30 is switch off time because my brain needs the time to get into sleep mode so doing that doing a meditation straight after to like switch my thinking brain off um and then also not watching tv right before i go to sleep because i was doing that and it's like dramatic and i just it's not good for my stress so um yeah working on that and also reading before bed so that like i'm not stimulated and getting to bed nice and early which i need to be stricter on because i'm like oh I'll just do this oh i'll sit on my phone oh I'll message this person and it's like people need to stop messaging me or i need to stop replying to the messages at a certain time because otherwise my brain like trying to limit my coffee again i have been really bad and i just like let myself start doing like two coffees a day so it was like four shots of coffee my body goes no 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 pushing my coffee back later so i take my greens first thing in the morning and then doing my physical activity even if it's just going for a walk like and i'll go to the gym later um just depends on the day but and being less stimulated um, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like in this season, it's so much more a mental game than it is like physical or anything else. Like telling myself, no, you need to switch off, allowing myself to have breaks, allowing myself to switch off at the end of the day. Like it seems like such silly things when I say it out loud, but when you're actually doing it, it's like, that's actually really hard for me to do. So I just need to get a little bit better with all of that which is also very hard to do when you're launching a business <laughs> but she was saying to me she was like if you continue like that you are going to burn out and it's not maintainable so if this is like a long-term thing then you need to set those boundaries 
which I know I need to do. But at the same time, I just feel like this week, I, there's so much to get done that I'm like, just get it done so it's done. That is just a little bit of a insight into my health update. Oh, that's been sitting there the whole time. I was supposed to move that. I am going to end off this vlog here. I think having a couple of days off vlogging is going to be really good for me mentally to just, I don't know, balance myself a bit better and still put in a lot of energy into this launch and getting everything up and running. So yeah, that's kind of, kind of where I'm at at the moment, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. I do hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I am sending you all a lot of love. Look after yourself. Use this as your reminder to put some more effort into you. And I will see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye guys.